hey guys what is good welcome back to my channel if it's your first time here my name is Yannick and guys I'm currently at the airport and if you watch this vlog until the end you will see why I'm at the airport I know it's been a minute since I've been on here but I have been like vlogging I was vlogging clips here and there and I've just kind of pieced this vlog together I think the clips date back um, up until February where you will see like a journey of what has transpired from then until now so yeah i just want to say um i'm back and i'm going to be posting regular now so what's been happening let's just have a little chat before i jump on this plane i can see that out there in the world and in the youtube world and in the world in general everybody's getting knocked up i don't know what is going on it must be something in the water me personally i'm not trying to be no one else's mother unless i'm married and he's got some wealth so i can rob him of his wealth if he tries to leave me with a child <laughs> other than that i'm not trying to be anyone's mother i know in my last vlog i said no new year's resolution my new year's resolution is not to get pregnant unless i meet my husband not to get pregnant but yeah other than that you know just for you to understand the footage that's gonna come up in this video i rekindled an old flame one i knew i shouldn't have but you know there's some things that's just karmically binding and you're karmically contracted with certain people in life and no matter how spiritual you think you are how much you know how elevated you are you're not exempt from trials and tribulations and your trials and tribulations come through your relationships with people your parents your children your mom your dad your boyfriend your husband your wife whatever so i'm not exempt from trials and tribulations so i went and rekindled an old flame i shouldn't have didn't end well and how I knew it was gonna end in the first place but hey ho we move so you'll see footage of that um, this year like it's been mad this year like I can see the universe thrusting everyone in some serious shadow work people are really faced with themselves um, you know through the struggles that they're kind of coming across in relationships and stuff y'all better break these damn soul ties holding you down <laughs> screwing up your life talking about love you better learn to love yourself anyway guys i hope you guys enjoy the video and um, don't forget to like share subscribe Guys, I was supposed to be doing a get ready with me, but I'm running late. I'm behind time. So guys, I wanted to do a get ready with me, but I came here for rest, you know, and me time. So I didn't really get the time to do it, but just quick little makeup and hair, heading out for dinner. Um, yeah, see you in a bit. <laughs> Here, a little bonfire. 
we all have a little bit of bonfire right so we're coming to the end of the old year the new year begins the 20th of march and i'm just burning shit that i don't need anymore shit that doesn't serve me in life anymore shit that's attached to people that i don't want to be attached to anymore i'm releasing it all i'm releasing everyone attached to me for the wrong reason i'm releasing all energy that's in my life that serves me no good I cut all attachments to you, I put all my energy back. I send you off with love and peace. <laughs>
I'm really not, I'm a very balanced individual. It just depends on what you summon in me. I'm just like nature. I can give you fucking paradise, I can give you hell. You know what I'm saying? It depends. It depends, but whatever it is, I'm gonna protect me. I'm gonna protect the God in me. So when I have to step into my masculine energy and put on my fucking armor and go to war, I will. When I have to be soft girl, queen, sitting goddess on her throne, I will. Whatever the situation requires, I will show up and I will give it. Anyway, that felt good just to be releasing how I feel. You know, it was a lot of built up energy I need to get rid of. Um, we're at the end of the old year. The new year starts the 20th of March. Um, I've just burnt some shit. Just, you know, said my mantra, just released, cleaning up my environment now, washing my sheets. I'm about to have a nice salt bath, wash my hair and get on with my day. Good morning, guys. No mess, no fuss. I'm just having breakfast. So today is Saturday, 18th of March. I want to go get my nails done. They need refilling. And I want to come back home and start filming content again today. I woke up feeling a little bit better. Yesterday I was venting a lot and I was, you know, just, let me turn this Chris Rock off just in case copyright. I'm just happy that I expressed myself and got it all out and stuff. Then we move, you know. We don't stay stuck in my emotions for too long. Yeah, I think I'm going to go get my nails done because I think that will encourage me to come back and set up and start filming and stuff. I really want to get back into my bag. Into my YouTube bag. You need to stay out my way. You need to stay out my way. Guys, I've just arrived. I'm here in the car park and I've been sitting here for like a good five minutes. I was sat in traffic outside for a good ten minute minutes and I don't know why I'm still here like i've already left the house late it's nearly half four the nail shop closed at half six i wanted to stop in primark and do bits and people just want to be stupid today i don't know why it's one of them car parks like if you can't drive you are screwed in here because it's so tight like most of the walls are scraped off where people's just like damaged their car anyway um i'm gonna head to the nail shop now and i don't know if what time primark closes at seven see you guys when i get out there finished guys i'm just quickly gonna stop in primark get a few bits i didn't do anything fancy i just had them done in white these are my natural nails and, and i've just been putting like powder layer over them to kind of grow them i don't like them too long because i feel disabled with them but yeah i don't want much in here actually i just want to get like uh some hair bubbles some studs and i don't know some other bits i can't remember i quite like these flip-flops guys what do you think I'm liking the, these chunky flip flops. Oh, I want to try one on, but I can't bother to take my shoes. Do you know what? I'm just going to get a medium. I think a medium should fit me. I'm looking for our cargo trousers. But I don't know if I want to pay £20 for a Primark cargo trousers. Um, I saw them on Shein and I'm sure they were less. So Primark is getting a bit too bright with their prices, you know. That was literally the deadest Primark trip ever. It's so dead in there. It's so dry in there. And what is, where, where's Primark going trying to like up their prices like? Ugh. Stop now, you're still Primark, don't forget. So I've just broke my tripod one. Just finished with Primark and I stopped and had some slim chicken. Guys, my New Year's regimen's just not been going how it should be going. But then again, I said I wasn't gonna start everything until March and we've still got time. We've still got time to turn it around because I truly, really and truly don't wanna be eating any meat. Like I wanna go clean, 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 get my body lean. But yeah, um, 
I've got a few bits on Primark. I'll show you when I get home. I'm not going home straight away, so whenever I get home, I'll show you that. Um, yeah, what else? Oh, PSA on behalf of us women. Ladies, when you go shopping, please leave your man at home. I'm tired of going in these women's store and men are just in the way, not knowing what to do with themselves. You're trying to shop. They don't know where to, where to go, what to do, and they're just in the bloody way. Sincerely, leave them at home. They don't care about what you're buying. They don't, they don't want to be there. They don't know what to do with themselves. They're getting in our way. And then while I was in Primark as well, this girl came up to me. She proper scared me as well because I was standing and she just came and tapped me by my shoulder. She's like, excuse me. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> and she was like, oh, can you just help me? And then she had like um, an outfit picked out and she's like, what top do you think I should wear with this? And do you think this goes with that? And I'm like giving her advice. But which one do you think looks better? Oh, it, was just, it was so funny. But yeah. Anyway, um, let me get out of this car park because I think it gives you 15 minutes to drive out once you've paid. And I'll see you guys when I pick the camera up again. Peace. It's Sunday morning and I was supposed to be filming content today but my tripod broke last night. And I've just got another one delivered. I'm going to open it in a minute. But I was just, I've not been having a good day to be honest. It's like nearly three o'clock not got out of bed, not ate, not done anything. In fact, I never think I could be one of them people that can be vulnerable on YouTube or whip my camera out when I'm crying, but I literally just laid here crying, like beating myself up, um, just over a lot of things. I've just realized nobody really has life figured out. And I think my problem is I beat myself up too much, like about mistakes I've made, decisions I've made, because I know better now. I wish I could have, what I know now, applied it then. But then I also have to remind myself that it's the mistake I've made, it's all the imp imperfections, it's everything that I've done wrong that's made me who I am now. And probably without all of those adversaries, tribulations, I wouldn't have been who I've evolved into now. Um, so yeah, I've just been in a funk. And I hate sharing vulnerability with people, I really do because People think they can use it against you. But I'm at the point I don't really care. We're all human. We all go through things. We all feel the whole spectrum of emotions. And I feel like people don't keep it real enough, especially on YouTube. And I think moments like this is very necessary because I know there's a lot of you out there who are going through things as well, you know. So anyway, I'm gonna hopefully just cry out some more. <laughs> And um, I'm going to get up and I probably won't film today again because it's gone too late now. I'm not in the mood. I feel like I need to listen to my body when it's asking me to pause. When I need to grieve, I need to grieve. When I need to rest, I need to rest. I feel like when you don't do these things by listening to your body, like it will just do it for you. Like I don't want to break down. I feel like when I feel my emotion, I just want to release them. I want to sit in them, feel them and release them. Then hopefully tomorrow I wake up a brighter, happier person. I don't want to suppress anything. I don't want to, you know, so I'm up in my feelings today and I'm just going to sit there, lay here and allow myself to be. Um, but yeah, so let's look at this tripod. I'll show you the tripod I got. I've gone through so many tripods. This one's a different kind. And I bought it off Amazon. And it seemed like a really good one because like I saw someone, they had a projector on it. Whoops. It looks really sturdy. There's quite a lot of parts to it. So let me fit this up. Thanks for listening to me be sad. I'm going to fit this up. I'm going to lay down and sulk some more and cry some more if I need to. Then when I'm up, I'm up. I'll speak to you soon. I am loving this. It is so freaking sturdy. It's heavy. It's sturdy. It's amazing. It's probably one of the best one I've bought. We're back in business, guys. We're back in business. Morning, guys. And today I'm saying morning because yes. 
We're letting go of yesterday. We mourned yesterday already and it's a beautiful day today. It's the 20th of March. For me, this is the real new year. This is when we have the spring equinox. This is the time when you start to see nature comes alive again. Look at that, the trees. You start to see the leaves coming back, all the blossoms on the trees. You know, it's the most powerful time to release the old and plant seeds for the new. It's a time when the length of the day is equal to the length of the night, symbolizing harmony and balance in nature. It's the time you need to set your real kind of resolutions and affirmations for the year to come. It's the time when you plant your seeds for the rest of the year to come. So happy spring equinox and happy new year for me. Um, I probably won't vlog on camera today because I have a lot of stuff to go do right now. But I just, you know, I'm appreciating seeing the sun, uh, Ra. Son of God, light of the universe. Yeah, we give thanks. Happy spring equinox, guys. Don't forget, do your little rituals today, your cord cutting rituals. You know, release what no longer serves you, plant the seeds of what you're trying to reap, you know, within yourself not just on a physical level, on a mental level, on a soul level, on a spiritual level. Happy spring equinox, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Plants in my room, right? And it bears a flower, one flower each year. Every time this flower comes up, it usually gives a good indication to me of what time of the year we're in. When I see this flower start coming out, I know that, you know, the new year, the real new year is approaching. Every year it does that. <laughs> Even though I feel the pain, you know that I grow with it though And I don't go against the brain I'm just going with the flow I'm just going with the flow of life Yo, watch how I flow with life Nigga. Feel I got these bottled up emotions that I bottle up inside me Working on my aura, I can feel a vibe around me Working on my aura with these zombies all around me Makes it hard to grow, sometimes the feelings start to drown me Wonder where I go, I take a trip about the county And on the mountain top is where the answers seem to find me Shit that you hold on to is the shit I leave behind me Accepting all good vibes, bad vibes is kind Better look up in that mirror when you looking for love And keep it real with your Hey vloggy vlog, good morning, I am back and I'm in good grace and spirit, won't you look at God? Won't she do it? Okay, so I'm gonna quickly take a shower um, before I start my day and stuff. So I thought, let me just quickly show you what I got at Primark because I didn't show you the other day, but it's not, even, it's not even anything great. But, you know, I like to be nosy in other people's stuff when, they were, when I'm watching their vlogs, so, you know, whatever. Um, this is what I'm gonna wear. These are the comfiest tracksuits ever. I've got this in a size small. I wish they had more colors because I would have got, they only had it in this black and navy blue and they were just like really ugly. But had they had more colors, I would get it. It's so soft, it fits so nice, really good. I got these chunky flip-flops. I don't know, I like them. They're giving me summer vacation vibe. I like them, they were six pounds. Can we just say how Primark's trying to high key up their prices? I've got black leggings. Every time I go to Primark, I get one of these stretchy black leggings because they fit really good. 
and then my daughter keeps stealing them so i have to keep making sure i top up every time i go just pick one up because they just be walking outside my closet you know growing legs and walking away these hair bubbles i love these hair bubbles they're really really stretchy and i need that extra stretch because i love to put my hair in ponytails and i got these claw clips you know for my half up half down do shindig that's literally it but you gotta keep your promise boo you gotta keep your promise okay guys so it's uh what's the time it's not as early as i'd like it to be it's 9 46 i'm gonna wash up shower all of that and get dressed and i'll see you downstairs in a minute so these are the flip-flops guys and the joggers they look so good on and they're so comfy so guys i don't think i've shared the weird obsession i have with tea i have so much tea in here so i don't drink hot chocolate but i usually like mix it with i usually mix it with coffee because i find coffee too strong so i have these i usually have these every morning but i'm currently into the english breakfast tea like that's what i've been having every morning now it's so good i like it very like milky um this is lemon and ginger this is like a turmeric extract tea you literally just throw it um on some hot water and sweeten it with honey or um anything of such vanilla chai which i don't really like this warm to be honest i like chai cold um but yeah and then this one is um well it's a blend of chamomile fennel marshmallow root this for all my jamaicans you will know this this is called busy busy tea there's another name for it i think it's cola or koala or something like that but my dad gave me this this is for like um if you catch any food poisoning or illnesses and stuff you'll like i don't know boil that down and sift it now these are all my cleansing teas over here but these ones like the natural detox these ones i got from holland and barrett's that one um that one that one basically all of this is to give you the shits all of this is like laxative type of tea so is this one but this one is so freaking lethal this one is senna i've got two packets of those this one gives you the cramps and it gives you the shits but what i don't like with it it gives you the shits with the cramps yeah just thought i'd bring you in on my um tea addiction and here i've got like coffee and and that stuff so yeah i'm gonna make one of this right now and we can sit down and catch up hey guys what is good grand rising rich rising good morning whatever you want to call it what is good so i woke up in excellent spirits this morning and i'm so thankful and you know i'm just so happy that i allow myself to feel when i'm going through stuff and i feel like we need to do that more you know people a lot of people are so emotionally repressed you know people get sad they want to apologize for it or they want to say oh i'm sorry if they're crying and stuff like we're so emotionally repressed and i think it makes us the most dysregulated species you know everybody that you see walking around is so deeply traumatized and dysregulated because of the emotions we store in our body because we don't allow ourselves to feel or sit in it because that's very uncomfortable or that's oh it, it's sad and it's negative and it's bad vibes and no i think it's very important that you honor your feelings as they show up you sit in them you acknowledge them you don't stay there you sit and you process and you overcome and i feel like if i didn't allow myself to just have a couple of shit days laid in bed and cry i wouldn't feel as good as i feel now because now that's past i've looked at it i've dealt with it and yeah it's over now you know if you look at animals like when it comes to trauma like they know how to regulate themselves if you see an animal gets into like a fight with another animal and you know they get attacked you'll see them in the corner just shaking they that's basically a trauma response that's them shaking out the fear out of their body so that means that trauma is not stored in their nervous system that trauma is not stored in their body now human beings we are so dysregulated we store our trauma because we repress how we feel 
Um, this is why we have so much vices. This is why we're so toxic, you know, um, because we don't release it. When we're traumatizing something, we don't release it, we repress it and we walk with it, carry it around, etc. Anyway, I'm up, I'm in a good mood. It's Tuesday today. Currently working from home today, so I've just got some orders that I'm processing now. I'm going to run to the post office um, and send them, and then I want to come back and do some filming, like just content filming. Um, but I have a meeting at half one, so I'm still thinking maybe I can do it around the meeting because I'm ready to get back in my YouTube bag, I'm ready to get back in my healing bag, I'm ready to get back into my lucky girl, my all that jazz bag, you know. I'm feeling like what my cup says, see? Queen of everything. So yeah, let me finish up these, um, go post them. I feel like I need to change these flowers. They look a bit dried up. Yeah, I'll get some flowers when I'm out. I want some tulips. But yeah, I just want to encourage people just to sit in your feelings and to process what you're feeling. Don't feel like you need to be happy all the time. That's toxic positivity. That's unrealistic. You're a whole entire human being. Be comfortable and understand that life is going to give you the waves um, of situations and you're going to experience the wave of emotions. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with it. If you get up and you cry one day, it's fine. If you're a sad girl, it's fine. It's fine, sis. You'll be fine. Like, And I feel like a lot of content creators on here, they're not real. It's just all a facade. It's just all too for showy showy and I think that's what they're doing to kind of as a form of escapism from who what they're really feeling and who they really are and I feel like that's not really helping there's a lot of people who watch them especially young girls and it even adds further to the kind of um delusion you know that life is this way and life should be this way all the time people don't know how to navigate through difficult spaces and trauma and I just want to let you know that girl it's okay to sit and cry You'll be fine. You'll be wake up the next day like me, feeling like a sunshine. Um, so, you know, don't put content creator on pedestal. They're just content creator. That's it. They create content. Um, and half of the time, it's not really like a true reflection of their life, you know. Anyway, guys, chitty, chitty, chatty, chatty. Let me go do what I'm doing. Oh, my God. Oh my goodness, what started off as a great day turned out to be a whole heap of commotion. Why did I just go to the post office and some old Asian guy was parking up. My car was parked and I was in the post office and he was parking next to me and ran into my car and scratched off the side of it. Some women who was outside, they came in and they're like, whose plate is such and such? And I was like, mine. And they're like, someone just hit your car. I was like, oh my God. You know what the funny thing is? The car I had before, that's where it got written off, right by that post office. Maybe that's like a, I don't know, just like an accident zone there. And it was just long. The guy was like, oh, um, I'll just give you 50 pound. I was like, you 50 pound for what? I was like, you're funny. I called my friend who does that type of job. I'm like, how much is this? And he's like, no, that's probably about 200, 300 pounds to fix that. And he just wouldn't give me his insurance number. And then the two ladies who saw, they were such Karens, bless them, even though they were supporting me. They were like, no, we saw everything. Call the police, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, I had a great day. I had a great morning. What's, what's this Wahala for? What's this? But you know what? Certain things are blessing in disguise. And I know why I've said that. Anyway, I had to follow him home. His son came out like he's some gangster, even though he was nice. But he was just, you know call your insurance, do this, do that. And I'm just like, bro, I cannot be asked with this stuff. Like, I'm one of them people, I don't give a shit about cars. I just drive, I'm one of the people, I drive one until it goes wrong. I'm like, there's something wrong with this car. But anyway, yeah, I'm gonna ring the insurance now and make a claim. So my whole intention was to come home, get ready, um, do my meeting at 1.30 and then start filming. Now I'm gonna have to sort cars out. Oh, Mama Gado, the way you like to play with me. It's all right though. All right, see you guys soon. Guys, it's the middle of spring and it still feels like winter. It's raining nonstop. Hailstone, hail, hailstone in. Morning guys, morning. 
so um i need to catch you guys up on so much um it's friday morning but i'm gonna quickly take my daughter to the orthodontist to get her braces fitted um when i get there i might sit in the car and just like talk to you guys about what's been going on there's been so much going on it's like i can tell when i'm coming i'm starting a new cycle like that's what's happening right now so there's so much pivoting and changing anyway i'm gonna take her to the orthodontist drop her off to school come back i want to color my hair i'm gonna be um, dyeing my hair ombre the ends brown and i might do a separate video for that um in the meantime i think we have to leave out soon i don't know if i've got time for breakfast i may make some may make something quickly um let's see what i've got oh Matt, i may have this when i was in greece i used to eat this most mornings for breakfast like a greek yogurt with oranges it's literally a vibe Greek yogurt and oranges. I used to eat that for breakfast most morning because the breakfast was the food was horrible um, and I got addicted to that. When I came back, I couldn't stop eating it. So I'm gonna make some of that quickly. Then I'm gonna rush out to take her to an appointment and then I'll speak to you when I'm outside in the car. Oh, my hair's not done. I'm just letting it breathe because I'm gonna color it when I get home. Oh shit guys my life is i'm trying to catch you up but hang on let me take this call quickly hello hiya hi mike you're right yeah 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 i get that yeah okay All right, speak to you soon, bye. Bye. Oh my God, guys, I thought I was coming here to have a little car therapy session with you while my daughter's getting her braces fitted. She might ask me to come up in a minute because she's a bit funny. I wanted to catch you up. Now I feel even more confused after that phone call. Like my life is doing <laughs> somersaults and backflips and all sorts right now. Like I don't even know where to start. I had an objective to speak to you about I don't even know where to start. Um, <clears throat> so, where do I start? Jesus. So I just wanted to speak about understanding that you're a co-creator in this reality and you can bring stuff, um, manifest stuff that you want in, in your situation. Like you just have to understand and have a good relationship with the universe, with God, with spirit, whatever you want to call it, right? Like. And I, it's something I've been doing for a long time. Like the other day when I was going through my little kind of down phase, broke up um, and I you know, lit a fire and I started releasing shit and I started affirming shit. I just got mad. I got so upset. I started cussing spirits the fuck out. I started, I don't know, I, I started talking to the universe. I, I started to cuss this shit. I'm like, look, I'm like, look, stop playing with me. Like the jig is up. You know I see through all this shit. You know I know what this is. Like. If you want me to stay here and do what you want me to do, you need to work with me. And that's what you have to understand. You have to learn to command your reality. People are there like pleading and please, can I have this? And please, I pray for this. And no, command your reality like the co-creator you are. I'm like, I demand this shit from you now. You want me to comply? You know I know what this shit is. Guys, like I understand life to the T. I understand life from a scientific level, from a spiritual level, from a physical level. I, I hear what people say. I hear what people don't say. I see what people see. I see what people don't see. So I understand what this is and each situation and challenges I meet up on, I know what they're about and I know why they're there and I know what they came to teach me and half of the time I see through the shit. And I started talking to my my reality. I'm like, you know I see through the shit. Like I know, you, you know I know what lesson you're trying to teach me. Okay, noted. Can we move on now? And this is how I was cussing and I was just like, you're not doing this, you're not doing that, you're not giving me this to work with, I, I, I demand this, this, this. The universe was like, okay, okay sis, we hear you. And then it, would, it just went, bam, bam, bam. Just like that. What I've asked for. But then you have to also be careful what you ask for. <laughs> because listen, the way is spirit, the universe be playing game with me. I, I'll clock it and I'll laugh. And I was like, I see what you did there. 
I see what you did there and it, it communicates with me it communicates with me it's like I'll be it depends what I'll be speaking about or I'll just see like a letter uh, pop up or something pop up in a in my scrolling or something pop up on the telly and it's just got a little message in it it's just got like life is really like the Truman Show like this shit is really like some Hunger Games stuff this shit is really a simulation and it knows the people who are awake in this dream and I'm one of those people that's awake in this dream um, so it'll be communicating with me and I'll be laughing I'm like yeah I see you I see you I hear you I see what you just did you know so that's been happening that's been manifesting my battery's about to die <laughs> like come on cut me some slack I've got so much going on um, so yeah um, I'm probably gonna have to finish this when I get home and charge this battery but I'm probably gonna run upstairs quickly to see my daughter in the, in the dentist book her uh, second appointment and um, I'm gonna run to the hair shop to get some cream some body butter um, because I've run out of the, my own that I used to make I need to order like my supply batch and stuff and I need to get um, a developer for my hair color that I'm gonna do um, I might be leaving the country next in the next few days I've got two job offers waiting they're both overseas um, <laughs> I've got compensation coming in uh, for someone who just who hit my car the other day but let me catch you up properly when I get in because I feel a bit worried for my baby. I know she doesn't like speaking up for herself. So let me go in and just tell the dentist that he made her braces tight the other day. And I'll catch you up. And guys, when I tell you I've got some tight decisions to make right now, like too much to the point. I'm so overwhelmed. And um, yeah, let me, let, me let me catch you up when I get home. Oh my god, where's my work phone? I know she's probably calling me as well. Jesus. Oh, she's not. Surprise, surprise. Okay. to book the follow-up appointment. How do I get out of here? Um, my camera battery's died. I'm now on my phone. So I'm going to continue vlogging once I have gone home and charged my phone. My battery, sorry. <laughs> I've just handed in my resignation for my current job. Um, I've not long, gone, not long got back, but I've been working, trying to like finalize paperwork that I need to get across. Because as I said, I could be possibly, strong possibility leaving the country next Wednesday. So I need to tie up a lot of loose ends. But what I was saying in the car is like, you have to be very specific about your manifestations and you have to be very specific about what you ask for because you will get exactly what you ask for. You know, remember, I, I know you guys remember, I did I did a job, sorry, I did a, a video talking about how I hated my job and I wanted something more to work from home. Well, I did manifest that working from home, the most stressful organization ever. It's a small organization, so a lot of their processes is not refined. Paperwork for days, mentally taxing, hella stressful to me, too stressful and taxing to what? I'm being paid for it. I don't want to do it no more. It was supposed to be convenient where I can be here, I can film, I can I can still do content, I can still do other things that I love, other business venture I'm trying to start. Not the case. So yeah, I did put my big girl's panties on and I just said, look, I did my resignation. So yeah, um, the universe been showing up for me. You know, it's been basically responding to my request and everything that i've asked was like okay so you're cussing me the other day you're saying this you're saying that well there you go 
you know so now i'm faced with a lot of decision making in a very short space of time and i'm just trying to do as much as i can but I, I, this here i've just decided you know what i'm not going to worry about anything because i've realized just how divinely orchestrated my life is to the point is like i'm be like oh yeah you know what i'm gonna plan this and i'm gonna plan that i'm gonna be over here and i'm gonna do this and then life will be like no nope, sorry that's not what we want you doing you're gonna be over here doing this so i've realized that my life is so divinely orchestrated that i don't worry and i'm just gonna do things that makes me happy and i'm not gonna get up every day and dedicate my energy my time my spirit to doing stuff that makes me miserable and that's like for instance this job I'm gonna start taking big leaps and big plunges, even though it's scary, but you know, it's what I've asked for. So when you've asked and it's it's been delivered, you know, do something with it. But yeah, uh, what did I wanna talk about in the car? I can't even remember now. Can't remember, I still haven't eaten guys. I didn't even make that breakfast this morning because we were late. So I need to go make some breakfast. Guys, I get gassed about little things sometimes. I just bought these knives and they're just so nice. Stainless steel, they're so sharp. Love it. Little things make me happy. Look how sharp this knife is, guys. So sharp. So this was like my breakfast when I was in Greece. I had this every morning and then when I came back from Greece, I couldn't stop eating it. I became so addicted to it. It's so refreshing. So it's basically just oranges and Greek yogurt. And I'd have this because the rest of the food was really garbage. Um, let's just cut the skin off. Let's do like diced pieces. add like a some Greek yogurt to it so good oh perfect for summer most people have yogurt with strawberries may try yogurt with oranges so good that's basically it guys Greek yogurt and oranges so yummy Morning guys, so I'm gonna be coloring my hair ombre this morning. I'm um, just using box dye and I've got a toner. Um, I'm not gonna do it in this vlog because I'm doing a separate video for it, but I'm gonna be trimming my hair as well, but that I may do in this video because um, I'm trimming it on the farmer's almanac again so I can encourage growth and I wanted to share how that works with you guys. So let me go start and I'll be back soon. Hey guys, morning. So let me catch you up quickly. I'm just colouring my hair. Um, let's pour some coffee first. Guys, I'm obsessed. I'm, I was never one for like, you know, like the ready-made coffee, but this isn't the best one. The best one is the oat milk brand, but when they just come out with it, it was in the supermarket all the time. Now I can't find it. So now I have to settle with this one, the almond one. Don't really like it that much. But it, it does the job. I have it with this kind of caramel syrup with um, ice. Oh, love it. Love it, love it, love it. So yeah, that's what I have most morning. Anyway, so I'm going to finish my hair. Um, and then I'm going to go up to my son's flat. Um, he's just moving in with his girlfriend. So it's all new and exciting. Um, but before he moves in... I did say to him I didn't want him sleeping there until I've blessed the house. It's very important to bless spaces um, that's unknown to you. So if you're going to go and occupy a space, bless it because you don't know what type of energy um, or what was happening in that space. You don't know what's lurking in that space. Um, you have to think of it like this, right? If you go into a crackhead's house, it's going to feel like a crackhead house because all of the negativity is built up charges and ions in the atmosphere. It's going to feel like that. If you go into a... I don't know, a prostitute, a house where prostitution's happening or someone's murdered or died, you will feel those kind of negative energy lingering in that space. So it's very important that when you move in a house and stuff that you do cleanse your space 
um, because especially with like stuff like incense, sage, frankincense, like the smoke literally changes the the, um, the charges and the ions in the kind of environment. So I'm I'm gonna take him some incense, which I, these are sell on my website. So this is just like different types. They smell nice. This one's myrrh, um, but he can burn these every day. But before he moves in, I got him some stuff online which I'm gonna go up there and do for him now because he's trying to move in pretty soon. So I'll show you what I've got. Let's try to see if it's going good on a bit. So I've got like the raw frankincense. This is like the raw version. It's in like granules. Um, and then I've got charcoal. So you just light the charcoal, you put the granules on, and just let it smoke out the room, you know, and just lock the room up, let it smoke it out. Then you open the windows, kind of just cleanse the space energetically. So, and I've got him a little house blessing candle. You know, it's just about setting all the positive vibes and intention in the environment before you occupy the space. So, yeah, just a little house blessing candle, so. I'm gonna go over there and do all that ritual for him. But anyway, guys, yeah, I've just been like doing my hair. I'm gonna give it a trim when I'm finished coloring it. Um, and I wanna to explain to you guys um, when I'm doing that about the trimming. But you know, I've just been looking at how I've been valuing myself recently, you know, because your self-worth is literally your ceiling. How you feel about yourself is it's gonna reflect in all areas of your life. It's gonna reflect in the relationships you, you see that you're worthy of, the job you see that you're worthy of. Um, you know, everything it comes down to the value you put on yourself. And I've realized I've been stripping back my life. I've ended a relationship that I deemed unworthy. Uh, I've handed my resignation yesterday for the job that I feel like you guys are getting so much value out of me. You're underpaying me. Yes, I'm working from home, but it, it just doesn't balance out. And I feel like I'm putting a standard for myself you know and just an increase on my value and I'm not willing to settle for anything then I know that I'm deserving of in all areas of my life and I, I can see it manifesting now like one thing I know about myself is I'm a super manifester like trust me like even this even my son getting his apartment now I remember last year I was saying it to everyone I was like oh don't worry about him he's gonna get his apartment like the first quarter of next year and his girlfriend reminded me of it. She was like, I remember you said it. I said, yeah, I know. Certain things I just know, you have a knowing. When you're so in tune with yourself, like people out there, they can see stuff, psychics, mediums, like all of that is real, but it's not special. It's like, it's an ability we all have until you tap within that, within yourself and trust yourself. Trust yourself more than you trust anything external outside of you. Trust me, it's lit. But anyway, all that's come uh, through, um, through to fruition they're waiting on me to come down so let me go finish my hair and then um the next clip will probably be me trimming it and talking about like the moon cycles and trimming it and then i'm gonna head down to my son's apartment and yeah do what we need to do today so see you soon so that's just to open the thing where's the actual meter <laughs> On guys, I don't want my hair smelling of smoke. So yeah, let's do this. <laughs> like, I, I bought some scratch cards when I was in Asda. Let's see. I just said I got some scratch cards in Asda. I'm gonna scratch them off. With how do you match three to win? We won nothing. Hi. I've just won five grand. Five grand? Five grand. You're lying. Come and look. She's lying. Come look. <laughs> mom, mom, F Five grand. Grandma, she lied. Five grand. So why are you not excited? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Guys, I still haven't um, had the chance to go home yet. Um, my friend is coming to help me like move my son's stuff, so his sofa and stuff like that. So I'm waiting for them. Then I want to go home and finish my hair, trim it, straighten it, all of that jazz. So yeah, speak soon. <laughs> I'm so tired. I've only just just got back and I want to trim my hair tonight. So um this is it blow dried. I'm gonna trim it and um where's the scissors? So basically when I'm trimming my hair I use this method called using the um the farmer's calendar and it's an old calendar design um that's based off the cosmos and it's basically um it gives you good indication of when to do things um based on the planetary movements um the moon the sun um i'm gonna put um, a link in the description of the one i use so today it gave me the date that it's a good day to color up or cut my hair if i want to increase growth so when you want to cut your hair to increase growth you want to make sure that the moon is waxing because waxing means increasing as in getting big when it's waning it means it's decreasing so when the moon is increasing that's when that those are good times to cut your hair but the calendar gives you precise dates because when it's in certain houses and certain signs like when it's in water signs it's good to cut your hair like when it's in sign like leo leo is known for the big mane that's a good time to cut your hair and the last time i did it mine was in leo last year it was on that that leo um uh what was it it was last year anyway I did it um, using one of the dates and at the minute the moon's sitting in Taurus. Taurus is a sign that you, that rules beauty, um, anything like cosmetics, makeup, hair, stuff like that. So um, it's ruled by the planet Venus which is the planet of all, all that type of stuff as well. Beauty, woman, femininity stuff. So today's given me a good indication um, of colouring and cutting my hair for good results and to encourage growth. So yeah I'm gonna start trimming it and um, straighten it now. morning guys good morning i didn't even show you how my hair came out it came out like this i don't think it's translating the correct color on camera it looks a bit more red on camera i am not that fond of it but i don't have time to change it right now i wanted to kind of give it a more like i don't know we'll fix that some other day anyway um what is it tuesday the uh 28th um basically I'm just waiting to meet my colleague from my old workplace, the one that I've resigned from the other day, just to hand them back their um, laptop and their work phone and stuff. So yeah, it's all happening. Um, it's funny because when I was speaking to my manager, she was like, she's so gutted to see me go and stuff like that. Like I was the only one that was specializing in the subject I was delivering and I was giving them like really good rates. Like my rates was 100%. If you, see, if you saw the feedback that they would leave about me, it was always positive that, you know, I'm excellent at what I do, da 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 But my thing is, you guys know I'm good at what I'm doing, but you want to underpay me for my value. And, you know, it's, it's taught me a valuable thing. Like, you know, 
you have to listen to the God within you. You have to listen to your nervous system. You have to pay attention to your body, how your body responds in certain instances, in, in certain situation, interactions with people. Like when you're in the wrong relationship, you will get up and you will fight with yourself every day. You will, you will be in mental turmoil and battling yourself every day because there's something in you is, is saying to you that this is not for me. I shouldn't be in this. Like this is not the one. And you will have that battle, you know, with yourself. And that's the God within you speaking to you like, yo, this is not the relationship for you. And you know this, like exit, exit, I'm telling you. And it's the same thing with jobs. You wake up and you'll be miserable and unhappy every day. And you go to this job miserable and unhappy every day. And this is you affirming to the universe that, you know, I've accepted this as the best I can do. And I just thought to myself, you know what? I don't care anymore. I'm taking leaps. I'm taking jumps. But I've always been that type of person anyway. Like, I don't know what's next. I don't know what's there. And nothing is certain. Nothing is secure. But I trust my path enough to know that, like, my steps are always ordained and everything's always aligned for me, even when I don't know what's around the corner, even when I don't know what's coming next. And I just took a plunge. Um, I've not secured anything permanent since this, but, like, I've got loads of stuff lined up. And I just know things are aligning for me. And I was just like, yeah, I'm not going to be underselling myself anymore. You lot are not going to get my value and underpay me. I'm sorry, I'm not doing it. And I'm not enjoying it. I'm not waking up miserable every day. It's not worth it for me. Um, so, yeah, like, they were, everybody was shocked. But I've always been that person. Whenever I go into a job, I don't ever look at a job. Because I don't ever see myself working for the rest of my life. Like, I'm going to be eventually doing my own stuff and generating my own income. I always go into jobs thinking... Okay, so what's the next level from here? What, what have you got to offer? How do I grow in this organization? Like, what skills can you offer me? What qualifications can you offer me? I always go into it looking like not to come here to settle and spread my bed and be here for the next 50 years and get a pension. I always go in it looking at how do I progress? Where do I move on next from this? I'm never yet, usually, I never stay in a role for even three months without looking at progression. That's me. I've always been that way. So, yeah, I'm just going to hand the equipment back and then um, I'm going to run into like Primark I'm not even going to take you lot with me because we've been in Primark already in this vlog I'm going to run into Primark get some last minute bits and then I'm going to go home and pack and then I'll touch base with you guys then so yeah see you soon oh this is translating so red I don't like it looks ginger anyway it has to do for now because I've got no time to change it hey guys what is good I've just got back home I am so exhausted. I don't know how people like shopping. Like, I find the whole process just nauseating. Like, I hate it. I hate it. Detest it. And then to make matters worse, like, since COVID, it's not been the same. Like, there's nothing in the shops. I can't even find underwear. Like, back in the days, I used to get my underwear from La Senza. And since La Senza has been closed down, I practically don't have underwear. Like, where do I get underwear? H&M didn't have any, Primark weren't saying anything, there's nothing in the shops and it was just so nauseating because I had to be going from shop to shop to shop. Anyway, I'm packing now, um, I'm going tomorrow, I'm not, I really don't want to do this right now but what choice do I have? Also, this colour's been annoying me, like since I looked at it earlier when I was speaking to you guys I didn't like it, even though it's not translating how it looks in real life on camera. My daughter said I should have left the toner in longer, but I didn't because I was in a rush to go to my son's. But anyway, I thought I don't like it and it's going to annoy me. So I got like a chocolate brown to go over it. So I'm going to do that after I finish packing. But yeah, look, just literally look at the bomb site here. Ugh. Yeah. So yeah, I need to pack. I think I might just end off the vlog here because uh, what's the point? I just need to end off the vlog here. Oh, should we do a little game before I go? You probably will see. Oh, come on, tripod, stop playing me. I'm tired. Oh, my mantra. So basically, I won't say where I'm going now. Jeez. So I won't tell you guys where I'm going. I'll give you three clues, right? And the person who can guess where I'm going, the first person to guess it right, I'm gonna pin your comment to the top. So what clues can I give you without giving it away? So I'm going on an island, that's one. 
um, this island is in Europe, that's two, and they're known to have like the best dairy, or the best dairy cows, or the best dairy ever, I don't know. Um, that's three, should I give you any more? I don't want to give it away. It's not going to be an easy one because when I got asked to go there, and they offered me to come over there, I was, and they asked me, they said the name of the place, I was like, what, where, who? What is that? Where is that? Never heard of it before. All right, let me just, this one may give it away. I'm going to give it to you anyway. So it's an island. It's in Europe. They're known to have the best dairy. Um, it's in the channel, the channel sea. <laughs> it's a channel island. I don't know. Take a guess. Guys, let me go do this. I'll see you in my next vlog and let me know I'm gonna make longer vlogs because I don't vlog as often let me know if you like the what can I think? let me know if you like the long vlogs or you prefer them shorter because I like long vlogs I like sitting there and just watching it feels like I'm watching a series so if I end this vlog here then more than likely I'll just start the next vlog and I'll probably just put the hair color in in there yeah, we'll continue in the next vlog. See you guys soon. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, all that stuff. <laughs> See you soon. Take care.